I'm going to read a poem about um, my parents' wedding. Um, I, I no longer have my parents, and I, I still miss them. And I also would like to um, uh, dedicate this poem to um, my mentor, and who is responsible for me really taking poet very seriously as a writer, Denise Levertov. The Picking Season, Eloy, Arizona, August, 1988. Mama, your voice worked hard to keep me from falling asleep at the wheel. I drove west through the night, tired, but your voice strong as coffee. As we passed that Arizona town, you grew quiet and whispered something about the stars. You can see them all, I remember. I kept my eyes on the wheel, did not look up, afraid to lose the road. We did not stop, continued traveling into night. Your father and I were married there. We came to pick cotton, both of us following the picking season, but the picking wasn't good that year. It rained for days. We made no money. You said nothing else, your voice escaping. I imagined it rained the day you both entered the small courthouse. You drove there in a beat up car with an engine my father rebuilt. You ran from the car hand in hand both of you soaked and laughing. As you waited, you sat drying yourselves on a bench in the dark hallway. You sat, not speaking, no family members to fill up the quiet with their loud Spanish, all of them far away. No one to stand and witness the event, no one to take pictures of you and my father, who had not yet grown his mustache. When you entered the empty room, there were no well-dressed friends lining the pews, no voices singing the Ave Maria, no priest to give his blessing. I imagine my father in his cleanest shirt, no tie, and you wearing a cotton dress with printed flowers. You would not have worn white, would not have lied that way. You had already known a man who left you with a child. There must have been no ring, you've never worn one. Maybe my father just took your already rough hands in his and held them tight as some aging gringo pronounced to man and wife. And afterwards, you rented a room, wondering where to go, how to celebrate, not knowing anyone except each other. And maybe that night, the rain stopped. Maybe that night, the clouds were swept away and the sky showed you all its stars. You said you could see them all. Thank you. Benjamin Alide Sainz, we're very happy to have you with us.